Hello everybody, my name is Anselm, welcome back to Let's Play Kaiserreich as the CSA, let's continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, the Internationale is doing absolutely trash. Like, they've almost taken Paris, it's been like a week. What the hell are the French doing? Also, Italy's also just completely dying as well. But the Union of Britain seems like they're doing alright. Uh, which is a little bit surprising, considering how, nor how this normally goes is that the French can actually hold on. Somewhat, while the British just suck and die. Got another uh, eight days until the dust settles. We still need even more chromium. So we'll just keep on getting some of that. That should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Yes, yeah, so we have four days here. And after that... Russia's gonna war Mongolia. That's fine, I don't care. Russia wants to clear war Mongolia, let them. And I guess after this, we're going to go down. Damocles project for the nuclear bomb. Russia's declared war on Ukraine. Sure, why not? Let's get the second constitutional convention. Can Russia fight all those fronts? I mean, probably they have like only 63 to 100 divisions. Which isn't very much. And they're also worth Mongolia. They're probably actually outnumbered. I mean, they're also fighting like a, like a two-front war here as well. And they declared war on Finland. Russia's actually just attacking everybody at once. Are they also going to attack the Japanese? Oh, uh, the Far East Republic actually decided to take even more territory from the Russians. The fault of Petrograd. Russia just sucks. They've been doing all this weird shit over and over and over again. Yeah, more, more bombings. Not a huge surprise, but still. Russia, my dude. Buy state bonds and write with any. That actually could theoretically get them at war with Germany, I think, as well. Can't it? Yeah, so Russia might also be at war with the Germans in a moment. So we're just going to have, like, such a strong Reich's Pact. It's going to be absolutely insane. And this is going to take, uh, a while. I'm kind of wondering if we should just more long spots. Oh no, Russia just declaring war on Germany right now. Like, who cares? Russia, what the hell is wrong with you? Why did you think this would just declare, just declare war on the Far East Republic as well? You know, the Ru the Russians. Every single game, they do something stupid. Every single time, and I don't know why. They just don't seem to be very smart. Somalia and Abyssinia has been annexed. You know, let's get the carbon. It's going to take about a year, but it's probably worth it. Yeah, so Somalia is now quite large. Yeah, so the Russians are just dead. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, now they're worth right for setting out. Oh, Russia. All of Europe is just falling apart. It's just a disaster. It seems like the Russians just declared war on every single person at the exact same time, instead of just waiting a bit. Okay, so we got the M4 tank. Uh, you're 183 days. You're a little bit ahead of time, but not too, too much. Uh, how about some aircraft? Do we have any, uh, 19... We probably should be getting our, uh, fighters upgraded, shouldn't we? The answer to that question is absolutely. We do have some planes on reserve. So let's get you up to 400. Get our close air support here to support like 700. Some naval bombers. I don't even know what I'm going to do with you. Probably just like have them patrol around uh, the east coast. Let's just have all these guys in order. Thank you. Have 100 bombers. 100 of you. And now we gotta figure out where these planes actually have to go. But you know, we'll, we'll redeploy them in a moment. It's not a huge deal, at least not right now. We are not building any strategic bombers, naval bombers. Okay, fine. Uh, there's a strategic bomber for you. Uh, you also want naval bomber. That was the other thing you wanted. CV naval bombers. I guess that's this one. No, I don't think we even have any of those, so let's get rid of this, please. Thank you. So, 3-3. Three, three. 
all the boats to the very bottom of the list. Have all the planes kind of just be next to each other. Also bring up the, uh, the tank a little bit here. But don't build heavy tanks. Build medium tanks. I think I might have built like one heavy tank by accident. We built 26 heavy tanks. Uh, I was going to say, do you want them, France? But you know what, Britain? You still seem like you might exist. So request license, send land lease. Do you want these 26 heavy tanks I built by accident? Here, just take these 10 tanks. There you go. You can have those 20 tanks, Britain. I'm not going to use them right now, so you might as well. We'll stockpile our medium tanks up a little bit. Um... Lend lease to Unit of Britain. That's fine. 29 days. Uh, Division Designer. You're the Marine... Okay. Where do we even have Marine Garrison troops at all? Which of these armies have those Marines? Because I don't want them in my army. None, actually, that I can see. Why can I not break... Okay, because you're a special template. Okay, fine. Uh, I want a new one, please. Vision Designer. How do I make a new... How do I make new f things again? I completely have forgotten. Oh, uh, my brain is melting. Okay, edit. Duplicate. New division. That's fine. Replace these with some medium tanks. Yeah, that should be okay. Maybe. We'll save that. And start training up a handful of medium tank divisions. Two of them. You know what? That sounds fine. We'll build some more in the future as soon as we're done building all our motorized. Another Federalist bombing. I really wish they would just stop that. It's just, it's just getting a little bit annoying at this point. Okay, so let's send out some points on armored operations. And how long until these are done? 41 days, 33 days. Just please stop bombing everything I own. We're at 39% stability, so that sounds pretty nice to me. Let's, you know what? We'll rebuild the south. Hopefully they'll get a little bit less annoyed at me. And you're still all colony states, aren't you? Your core. Okay, so the west coast isn't uh, completely cored yet. Some of these places are, but not all of them. And now we also need more rubber. We'll get that from the Germans. But now we're also importing too much chromium. I'm not even too sure how we are, but sure. Okay, another infantry division. You can deploy into pink, because pink is probably the guy who's going to face the most amount of resistance. At least I imagine that's going to be the case. Yeah, so we're, we're doing pretty all right here. These guys are almost all ready to go. How long do we have all these motorized divisions? Uh, 69 days. We're going to need a 146 days for that. You know, so in about a year, we'll actually have all our stuff ready. The medium tanks are still going to take quite a while, but that's uh, to be expected given the circumstances that we find ourselves in. And do we have too many troops, do you think, uh, ready to attack in southern Ontario? I mean, probably, but there really just nobody here, is there? Yeah, so that, that I mean, these plans look like they should be all right. And you all deploy into this front. We're now up to a nice 54 divisions. Of course, as soon as we start planning for uh, War Plan Red... The, um, the Canadians will start trying to go back to their borders because it's going to be like, hey, there is, a, you know, we're just fighting CB against them. So the Canadians will be much more prepared if we go this route. But if we do join this good uh, syndicalist soldier, we will just automatically be at war with the Canadians. Masters of the West, look into the south. The Great Leap War, which is research speed, dockyard output from the sky on the beaches. American aid is not that important. Well, 
Not many Canada, Mexico, North and South America. I mean, it would be nice to just day one be at war with the Canadians. And, you know, Paris still exists. I know that's not really saying anything, but they do still exist. India is actually deploying troops over here now. Can one of you guys just declare war on, on the Dominion of India so that'll make my job a lot easier? And you're still not too happy about this plan, but that's fine. So, New England, as you can see, fortified their entire border. You know, it's not a bad idea. It makes perfect sense. Another longest bombing has happened. Five days until we can destroy these terrorists. I mean, that's actually just going to make them into uh, the strong, as opposed to overwhelming, which is better than nothing, but it still really isn't saying much. Okay, you guys will go deploy over there. Another uh, motorized vision. I guess you go deploy to wherever you want to deploy. Yeah, sure, deploy up to the north. That's fine. So, ours, um, right now it's strong, strong. It should be resolved soon ish. Yeah, and five more days. We'll be going with weekend, which is going to make our, our options a little bit easier. another motorized vision to pink how is our organization right now is it are we having like a pretty bad penalty for it entrenchment speed is actually improved supply consumption no everything seems to basically be at average nothing too crazy but also nothing too uh horrible either okay so now we've done that we could go for the next step which is 100 political power reconstruction is over Okay, we haven't actually completed the Constitution quite yet. So how about we go for the next step? Get 100 political power seems nice. I think we are going to join the International. Loyalists to the Old Order are not to be invited. That sounds absolutely okay to me. Oh, guys. How's the uh, naval supremacy going over here? Zero, zero... Oh, no, this is all zero because we're not actually at war with them, so we don't know. So no, no wonder it's saying zero. Uh, how about you go to uh, blue? They have so many of these guys. Uh, you go to this front. Let's start, start building way more tank divisions because tank divisions are cool. Probably not that many, but we'll do like 14 divisions here. Okay, so our manpower is getting quite low. We'll deal with longest terrorists some more. So we can federal assistance. And I'm assuming the next one is just crushing it for good. And they won't even exist anymore. Two more divisions. You go to pink. So we gotta prepare for war. We gotta, we gotta prepare for war. My only problem is if we join the international and the French and the British and the Italians just suck ass. What is... The, the French have landed troops into Portugal? Sure. It's just like, what do we do after this? Like, who is in the Entente? Who's in the Reich's Pact? You guys aren't doing anything. You're getting your ass kicked by the West Indies Federation and Costa Rica. So, you know, like, what's the, what's the plan of attack? Because right now, we're at war with all of this. Or we will be at war with all of this. Which is not looking very great. Uh, social constitution, system of government. Well, let's go for... Through trade union councils or people uh, through council of professional workers. Well, I don't want the totalist in charge, but overall, I think this will still benefit us the most. So, 1565, the unions are still going up. Uh, 20 political power. You're just a basic infantry division, so you can go and aid these guys. I think that should be fine. Uh, human rights and workers' rights approves for another 20 political power. A half-track car. What am I going to use with APCs, though? I mean, I'm sure their product's, like, pretty good. 
Okay, let's start cutting down production on our poo submarines to get the advanced submarine hulls. And free military factories. Well, what do we need right now? We need infantry equipment. We need artillery. We need uh, motorized divisions. And we also need medium tanks. But medium tank, 4,000 days for those medium tanks. So I think we're just going to start increasing uh, medium tank production. I think that should be fine. Okay, so let's get some more poverty popularity for syndicalism and radical socialism. You guys can go to uh, purple. I think that should be fine. And what do you want us to do? Destroy lo loyalist terrorists. Well, this is actually fading. Oh, there's actually there's still another step. God damn it. It takes forever, apparently. Another 20 political power. The status of the president. A weak head can never per uh No, we're just gonna go with uh let's, end, let's get a small gain of power, that's fine. Muscat is joining the Entente. Yeah, we'll get these guys up to 22. Because we're really ba we're basically going to have to Um We're gonna have to invade Cuba. We're gonna have to invade the West Indies Federation. We're gonna have to, you know, invade a handful of territories down here once we get to war with the, with the Reich's Pact. Because we're, again, we're probably going to join their side. Where should our capital be? Well, I don't want it on the coast. Uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia's where? Here? That's Pittsburgh. Where the hell's Philadelphia? It's also on the coast. New York City, you know what? We're gonna stay with Chicago. I think that should be A-OK. -okay. The Northern Manpower is quite low. Uh, hopefully that'll start ticking up soon-ish. I mean, still uh, being affected by negative 47 because we're not a... Interim president. Move capital to Illinois. The CSA Central Committee. Oh yeah, we really need to get rid of these uh, really terrible uh, Civil War recovery. We need to, we need to improve significantly. Uh, becomes ruling party, the American... You know, well, let's get the IWW in charge. I think that should be fine. Lower the north. How about you just... Like, die. And let me invade... Let me invade into you. Because I could theoretically justify a world goal now. Core state... With, it'll take 15 days. Which, uh, isn't the worst idea. Focus on offensive, plus 25%. Friendship with Mexico would at least would create a, a faction. And I'm assuming Mexico would say yes to that. Reconstruction is over. I mean, I think we're going to create our own little faction. Because I'm, you know, let's go for like a weird like role-playing thing here where... I don't think the IWW would really side with the Totalists in Italy and Britain, so... I mean, we're also we're about to side with Totalists in Mexico, but don't worry about that too much. Don't think about it. Don't think about that, that too hard. That should be A-OK. -okay. Uh, insufficient resources. We need a little bit more rubber, so we'll get that from the Germans again. You know what? No, don't, don't get anything from the Germans. Get it from Brazil. And we get our chromium more from the Russians, because I mean they're at war with Germany as too, so they're, they're kind of like an enemy by prox or they're an ally by proxy. I mean they are gonna die. There's no question in my mind about that, but you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So let's rebuild the South Atlantic states. So now is all the South Core territory as well? It is. Excellent. I'm surprised rebuilding the, the part these uh these events don't actually improve. The recovery from the Civil War. We have about eight more days till this is done. Reconstruction is over. Total rain stability goes up by 15%. We remove reconstruction. Which is... Repair speed goes up. Civilian factory goes up. Do we have anything that we're still repairing? The answer is yes, but not that much. We're mostly just cranking out military factories as fast as we can make them. So we're probably going to fall for, uh, that's a 15%. That's only a 5%, but it does, uh, make, uh, 
I mean, actually, they both do that. So let's go for Reconstruction is over 50 days, and then we're going to uh, go with a Free the New World. Or we go for Commonwealth of America. What's actually in here that will help us? Stability 5%, construction speed, factory output, political power goes up more. So now we're going to go for Reconstruction is over. Even though it's not, there's still, you know, a handful of factories that have been bombed out, but don't think about that much too hard. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, call me something down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.